I'm gonna show you how to make money with AI agents and get paid online. We're gonna go over everything live in this tutorial and I'm gonna give you a full plan on how this works. We're gonna break everything down step by step and show you exactly what you need to do. I'm also gonna give you a full plug and play template that you can go ahead and use. So what I create in this video, you can actually use this yourself and you're gonna cut out 90% of the work. And on top of that, this is a very trending topic right now so there is money to be made. So by the end of this video, you should have a fully integrated template that you can use, and then you should be able to go out and potentially make money with AI agents using the exact strategy that I'm gonna show you right now. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make money online with AI agents. All right guys, so my goal in this video is very simple. I'm, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go from step by step, literally step one, all the way up to the whatever step we need to get to to make this work and we're going to literally be starting a business from scratch using ai automation okay so let's get into that right now and let's get started so the first thing we want to do is i want to take this back to like real simple stage right real like but you're you're a complete beginner online you have no idea how to make money maybe you have a little bit of experience maybe you don't maybe you've tried a couple of things maybe you haven't but let's just assume you're a beginner okay now, the best way for you to basically get started is to use AI, use all of the AI tools that you have right now, okay? This is really the key here because it's so much quicker, right? We can use ChatGPT, we can use other apps, just do everything for us. So let's get started. This is what I'm gonna say to ChatGPT and it's gonna give us a full business plan on what we want to do. So what I'm gonna do is say, I'm a complete, I'm a beginner to making money online and I want to get into AI automation. All right, so what I've done guys, I'm gonna leave all of this down below the whole process. So I've just kept it really basic here. I've said I'm a beginner to making money online and I want to get into AI automation um, or something to do with AI, maybe AI agents where I offer local businesses AI or something that's AI to benefit them. I want to find a, a local business pain point and replace it, replace or help with AI. Now I've said something and all that sort of stuff just to kind of give, I don't like to give ChatGPT like really specific prompts because in my experience it can mess it up. Like if you tell it to do something specific, it's gonna do something that specific for you. But if you give it like kind of a little bit broader stuff, then it can help you. It can like think on its own if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but you kind of get the idea. So what we can do is we can, so understand the common pain points of local businesses. Here are, here are typical pain points where AI can help. Too much time spent on customer service. We can create AI chatbot agents on websites, Facebook, Google, um, and Google My Business. Leads not being followed up fast enough. We can create an AI follow-up automation via text and email. Um, poor content marketing online presence. We can do generated um, AI generated blog posts, social media posts, um, AI website co or website content. Um, we can do AI ad copy and creative ideas. We can manually handle appointment bookings, AI powered appointment scheduler, chatbot calendar integration. So this is actually pretty cool outdated or poor websites. This is the one that we actually talked about in our last video, okay? This is a really good one. We talked about this. I'll leave a link below for that. Um, no customer database CRM. We're not gonna do that one because there's actually already software that can do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose one that's really basic. And I think what I will go with, so you can go down here and have a look, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the AI powered appointment scheduler. So this is really good and the reason why I'm going to do this is because you can, this is a really broad thing. We can do this for tradespeople, local real estate agents, it's really broad. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna say to chat GPT. So it's given me a bunch of stuff and um, I'll just type this out and come back because my mic's in the way. All right, so what I've done is I've said, I'm gonna go with AI powered appointment scheduler, chatbot calendar integration. I want to create this in Lovable Dev and the Lovable Dev app. Can you give me a detailed prompt for this to plug into Lovable? Now you can use different types of um, 
lovable prompt creators. And you can also go to the lovable. So th this is what lovable is here. We're going to be using it. You can go to the lovable Bible and you can create your own prompts if you like. Or you can even plug this into ChatGPT and say, give me prompts based on this, based on these criteria. So it actually tells you in this Bible what to say. Provide as much detail as you can in the in the prompt fields, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll go back and see what kind of prompt it's given us. Create our power appointment scheduler to handle customer inquiries. Um, target users, hair salons, beauty clinics, dentists, gyms, uh, massage therapists, trace people. Keep, okay, so this is pretty good. Okay, this is pretty good. But what we can do is we'll do two versions. We'll say, we'll see if this changes it. Now, can you create another prompt based off this Bible? Now, keep in mind, like I've said, all my stuff is very basic. I don't get into crazy prompts with ChatGPT, okay? That's what I've found works best for me. Um, okay, so this has come out much better, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we've got two versions here. I'm going to create both versions, okay? Let's just take this first, and then we'll create this one. I'm not sure if this is going to be the best here, but we'll do two versions. Why not? It doesn't really matter. We can do two. We can start again. And now I'm going to let this run. And if you don't know what this is, this essentially builds out the app for us. It builds out exactly what we need. So and what I'll do is I'll do two projects. So I'll do this one and then I'll do another one. And then I'm going to actually share all of this stuff below. So you can actually take this. If I publish this and you click the link below, you can click a thing called Remix and you can import this into your own Lovable and you can mess around with it, okay? So I'm going to let this do its thing. And then I'll come back and we'll see what it gives us. And then I'm also going to do the other one as well. And we'll see if there's some key differences between the prompts that we have chosen. All right, guys. So this is the first prompt that we did. And I'm going to do the second one as well. We'll just see if there's any difference. But this is crazy. I'm just going to refresh this. I just, all I did, I'm not joking. We just took this one prompt, okay? And I put it into this and it's done really exceeded my expectations here. So we've got a name. We can change this easy. We just tell it that we want to change it. We can literally change this to any type of business. So uh, the power of this is insane. So this is basically what it does is it says, hello, I'm your AI assistant. I'm here to help you book an appointment. And keep in mind, we can put this, so if I click publish, we can put this on a custom domain. So we can put this on a company's website. You have to have the paid package to do that, but you can put this on somebody's custom website this is so pow uh, powerful essentially it's just it could increase someone's business so much so um what service are you interested in well let's just keep it like this i'm going to wellness spa i want a deep tissue massage for, for for 90 bucks cool and it says great choice you've selected deep tissue massage now when would you like to schedule an appointment keep in mind guys i just posted in one prompt i haven't done anything else and then I just click on 11th of June and then 10 a.m. And then all I have to do is send in my name, my email, and my phone number and then confirm appointment. Now, I'm probably going to have to, um, yeah, so you need to save the appointment data, send notifications, or connect to a calendar API. So we can do this by using Superbase as a simple way to add these features without complex complex technical setup. So all I would do is go connect Superbase. And then all of this here would be connected and working. So now let's take our first prompt that we did. Um, it's a little bit different. So we'll kind of see whether it's good to add that Bible or not. And I'll see what this one does as well. Um, We'll see what happens here and then I'll come back and we'll go over the two and then we'll talk about how we can connect up with Superbase. But can you see how powerful this is? It literally just created a chat bot assistant calendar for us. Like this is, just blows my mind. I'll be back in a second when this one is done. All right, guys. So the second one is not as good. I will explain to you. Um, hopefully I reset this. It shouldn't, shouldn't go to the other one. Um, okay. So this one here. What it does is it presets everything. This one here, the person has to type, hey, uh, so can I get your name, um, Frank? So you have to actually type, which is okay. But for some people, 
this might be a lot better, okay? In my opinion, this one's better, but essentially, I would recommend doing the, can you make it off the handbook because it just makes sense, but both prompts worked okay, okay? Um, there we go, I can book this in, done. It would obviously have to have a database, remember, because maybe book an appointment. Yeah, see, so this one doesn't have like the email thing, so we, I'd have to figure out how to incorporate that, right? When you go through this one, it has all the email stuff. So I'm just going to get rid of this one for now. I'm going to get rid of, and we're going to just focus on this one. So now that we have this, what do we do, okay? What I would recommend you do is you can do two things here. I would recommend you publish this. So you can just publish it to the um, app, which I'm going to do. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to give me an address that I can use. And what we can do is we can go and now send this to prospects, send this to clients that we want to go ahead and we want to create something like this for them. Okay, so I'm going to go and just preview this here. Now, keep in mind, this is just going to be an example, okay? So there's a few things you might want to do. Remember, this is just an example. You're not going to be going ahead and, like, clients not going to be using this. You could also go publish and put this on your own domain, your own branded business domain, and say this is what we're going to do, and it can probably, and you'll be able to put it on separate pages and stuff. Now, you also want to do review security and connect Superbase, but you don't necessarily need to do that right now because what we're doing is we're just showing this to the client on what we can create for their business, okay? So this is the next step we're going to do. I've created the app. Give me a list of 10 local businesses this would work for. I've spelt businesses wrong, but who cares? And we'll let that do its thing. And I'm going to get rid of some stuff here. So this is it here. Um, oh, yeah, so it's just done a security check. Yeah, okay, so a few errors and stuff. You can just go through and you can basically, this this is where it gets a little bit tedious because you can, once you actually make this for these people, you have to go through and make sure all the securities are all good, but that's fine. It's done a security check, but it does say that your assessment is good, but there might be some things that you need to change. Um etc. Okay, you always make sure that the, that the security is good. And you also want to connect it to um, Superbase. Okay, because what that's going to do is that's going to be the database where you can have everyone's emails and everything in the back end, all the bookings and stuff like that. Now, it, all you have to do is ask Lovable what to do. Hey, the next step, I want to connect to Superbase. Hey, the next step, I want to um, have a database for emails. Hey, the next step, I want to integrate this with an email system so we can send out a reminder emails. You ask Lovable what to do, and it will do it for you. This, you don't need to know what to do. This is the thing. You ask, you tell it what to do. Like, watch this. I want to make, I want to connect this to a custom email software like get response so I can send reminder emails. How can I do that? It will it will tell it will tell me how to do it or it will do it for me. It'll probably say go get the API key and stuff. Yeah, so direct API integration. So we can literally set this up. I'll show you what get response is. This is get response here. It's an email marketing program that I use, biz software. We can set this up so it integrates all with that. It's crazy. It's actually insane. I just I actually just got an idea. I'm going to, I just got an idea. I'm going to create my own AI agent to ask people what course they're interested to what method they're interested in making money online. And I can provide courses to them. Crazy. So there we go. There we go. All right. So what's the next step? We now have these businesses. We're going to go for hair salons. Okay. So now we go to a website called so now we go to a website called um, Appify. I think it's called. Yeah, we scrape the internet. Or you could manually just go and contact people, right? So let's just say in my area, I'm gonna go and put in, I'm gonna go and put in hair salons and hair salons are gonna come up, boom, boom, boom. I can manually go to their websites and I can contact them manually, okay? There, there we go. Heaps of hair salons eight pages of hair salons in my city. 
okay? So I can do that. Or what you can do is you can go to Appify, you go to Google Mail Scraper, a uh, Map Scraper, you go try for free. I think this will cost you though if you keep using it. And you can do this. And you can simply go out and you can email. I'm going to go to um, Plump. I'm going to put in hair salon. And I'm going to start and save. It's going to scrape businesses for me. Now, the next step is we're going to say, thanks, I have found some businesses. Okay, what I've done here is I've basically said, thanks, I have found some businesses. I'm going to send an example of my app to them. Give me a short to the point email where I can pitch this. It must be short and to the point. People don't care. They don't have time for you. They just want to, sh if you have a pitch, it must be short and to the point. Simple as that. Let's see. Hi, I noticed your business takes appointments. I've built a simple AI powered booking. Now you have to edit this, get rid of all this stuff here. Like you'd have to get rid of this here. Uh, booking assistant that can automate this for you. It replies to customer messages, checks your calendar in real time and booking appointments, saving you time and helping capture more bookings even after hours. I've set up a quick example. Would you, would you like me to send you a link of, uh, to see how it works? You can either add the link now or send them a link. What I would do is I would leave this email. I, this is perfect. You don't want to send them a link straight away because what you've done is you've broken the ice and now you've asked them a question. So they either have to reply or don't, or they don't reply. If they're interested, they've got a reply, so you get a reply. Okay. If you just send them the link, they might look and go, "Oh, yeah, cool, whatever. I'm not really interested." But if you get them to respond to you, that's a micro thing that they've done, and now they're interested in what you have to offer. You can also do a Facebook DM, a LinkedIn message, as a LinkedIn message as well. So we've lit I've literally just showed you how to. I know I'm pa I'm really excited about this, very passionate. I've literally just showed you how to create a business using AI automation and AI agents right now online. And now if we go here, look, it's just scraped Google Maps for us. We have all of these companies that we can now contact in that specific area. So even if you don't live in New York you can contact these companies. It's that simple, guys. I literally just showed you how to create a beautiful AI automated agent that you can now go and pitch to companies that you can go and make them for them. It's that easy. You want to change the name? Tell it to change the name for you. That's it, guys. Now, I just wanted to actually share one more thing before I go. I have a group where I talk about a lot of this stuff. We actually have a really cheap price on this right now because we are building it out. We are lacking a little bit of information here, but we do have some free, we do have some like courses in here, this one here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some automation and stuff in here, but it's already populated with quite a lot of cool stuff. And we're going to be giving out um, Canva templates, uh, e-commerce ads. We're going to be doing tons of stuff in here soon and the price will be going up. So if you want to learn more about all of the AI stuff, all of this chat GPT stuff, we are going to be pumping this group soon full of content. This is very active, this group. And I basically help you start a business online, not just AI, but we are going to be focusing on AI as well. So check that out below. I'll also have a document below with all of this in it, the whole process that we just did to start an online business.